Good evening, guitar addicts. My name is Hack Matthias Eklund is a very entertaining guitarist and funny dude. He's part of an interview we did a couple of months back. If you want to see more of Matthias, then go to Guitar Gods TV at YouTube. What was it like growing up in Sweden as a guitar player in your teenage years? And what, Europe what European bands were you exposed to? Strawbeans, Vandenberg and that sort of stuff? Well, it was good growing up in Sweden because, again, we got nothing to do in Sweden. It's cold as hell. Uh, last winter we had, where I live, which is kind of south of the country, we had minus 29 degrees. Um, and that was, uh, you need to chop a lot of wood. I even got a hernia, which left ball got very big. So, <laughs> can I say this in Australian TV? Damn, okay, very good. Thank you very much. Can I, can I show my penis? No, just kidding. All right. <laughs> Uh, but it was great growing up, you know. I, I have a very liberal um, mom and dad. When I was 16, I, I told them that um, I'm basically I'm gonna quit school and sit home and practice my brain out and sweet picking. <laughs> and they said, "Well, fine." I was like, "What? You're okay?" "Yes, yeah, sure. Do your thing." And it was great. So it was tip top. And Sweden is a great place to be. It's a lovely place, and and. Um, I live in the countryside, uh, again, where everybody are cross-eyed and play the banjo and, and so on. Um, but and I, I grew up listening to Kiss, actually, which is not a European band. but <laughs> And then I heard Frank Zappa and went to my first Frank Zappa concert when I, in 1981. And uh, <laughs> I'm playing fragments of different Frank Zappa and Kiss tunes here. And then I, you know, got exposed to Iron Maiden. <laughs> And then the first Metallica album came out. Uh, and I went nuts and bought myself a Flying V and locked myself up and just... That was all I did, basically. And then I discovered Miles Davis, and uh, that, together with Frank Zappa, screwed me up, and Django Reinhardt, old Gypsy Jazz, and Mahavishnu Orchestra. And then I heard, you know, uh, from Ada Van Halen, and Steve I, and Satriani, and even Envy. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, um, it was great, you know, it was, uh, again, Sweden is a good place to live because we, you can focus and recharge your batteries and then go out on the busy planet Earth, the blue planet, and go mad. So, and here we are in Melbourne, yes. Good answer. Yes. <laughs> you mentioned the word penis before. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I will have to censor this interview right here and now. We can't have two men sitting around laughing at the word penis. It's just not good TV. And Matthias has two Viking children back at home in Sweden. And I'm not even attracted to men or women. I'm only attracted to guitars. But the word penis makes us laugh. How's you playing these days? Well, since 1996, uh, I've been using a Japanese guitar called Caparison. Hey, it's a Caparison. Uh, and it's a great guitar, and that's all I need. Um, this is my sixth or seventh signature model <laughs> with pubic hair. <laughs> Why is it pubic hair? Am I? Anyway, uh, well, so do, that's what happened. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, and, it, and it's great. Uh, it's a fabulous designer called Itaru Kanu, uh, living in Tokyo, that uh, is putting this together. I don't know anything about guitars. My uh, uh, my only input for for this. A signature model was the color actually. I wanted yellow, that's it. And uh, this one has, and this is a brilliant Swedish invention called True Temperament Frets. I don't know if you can see this, but it's a tip top invention by my friend Anders Tidel in, uh, in Sweden. And for the first time in the history of mankind, uh, you can actually <laughs> tune your guitar. <laughs> and and it's top-notch all over the place and also for the first time since the invention of the string, the harmonics that I use a lot, um, you know, <coughs> um, you can actually, um, it's finally the harmonics are the same as the actual fretted notes. <coughs> So, it's actually a very cool thing. Never goes out of tune at all, ever. Not ever! <laughs> Intonation's always correct. Yeah, don't. yeah, it's great. It's, uh... Incredible. So, yeah. So, it's great. So, Matthias, tell us about the app you're using right here now. It's Eleni, right? 
It's a Laney, and uh, I've been using Laney since, well, before dinosaurs worked the uh, Earth. Oh, yes. it, yeah, this is a, a tip-top amp. Uh, I've been using Laney since 1996, actually, and they're a huge part of my sound. And, uh, I love the light show going on in here. Uh, very evil, very cool, very metal-looking. But um, not only does it look splendid, it's actually a great amp. I mean, you can use it as a... <laughs> blues amp, but it's also very <laughs> metal and it's got the sustain of doom. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna have lunch now and um, wow. so what would you like? On <laughs> so it's fabulous, Do you, uh, it's got great tone. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> just crystal clear and uh, wattage about 60 watts on this one isn't it it is it is and you can turn it up and mm. use the watts in any way you like there's a mm. 120 watt version actually i don't know anything about guitar amps i just plug in and play that sounds uh, good yeah it's it's fabulous uh, so god bless the british eye. <laughs> And this so, is the baby you use most of the time live, yeah? Yeah, the 120 watt actually, and you can even do Melbourne traffic. <laughs> with a so it's it's really, really We're cool. Chinese traffic, can you do that? Yeah, that's a new thing. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs>